When you think of wine regions in Australia, you might not think of Canberra, but the Canberra wine region is home to 140 vineyards and more than 30 cellar doors. We're going to check out some of the wineries in the Queenbie and Pellerang area, just a short 30 minute drive from Canberra. Each have an amazing selection of wines and a restaurant, so you can enjoy high quality dishes while in your wine adventure. It's wine time, so let's go. We're at D&K Kitchen at Lark Hill Winery. Daniel and Katrina Hiltbrunner run the restaurant here and Chef Daniel dishes up some incredible food. An a la carte menu is available from Friday to Monday and you can even come out here for dinner on Friday and Saturday nights. There's a set five course menu available and if you want, you can even have matching wines from Lark Hill. The menu changes seasonally with a focus on fresh and regional produce. This is the leek, mushroom and grilled halloumi tart. It's one of the entrees here. This is a slow cooked pork belly on a bed of Kamara mash with slow braised red cabbage. We also have beautiful seared scallops with black pudding on a bed of celeriac and parsnip mash. We can't forget about dessert. Chef Daniel is from Switzerland, so there's a little bit of Swiss influence with some of the food. This here is a Toblerone mousse with a cherry compote. We're at the Lark Hill Winery Cellar Door, where you can enjoy a wine tasting for just $5. Their current opening hours are Thursday to Monday from 11 till 4 p.m., but you should check out their website to find out what their current hours are before you head out here to try some of their amazing wines. Now it's time to try the wine. Let's go. Lark Hill is really um, based around the original vineyard here at Bungendor. Um, and we're about eight, 80 metres above sea level, so a nice cool climate, high altitude site that suits uh, varieties like Riesling and Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. We also now have a second vineyard in Murrumbateman, a lower area that suits things like Shiraz and Sangiovese beautifully. I haven't come across a winery that has an American barbecue restaurant until now. We're at Norton Roads Wine and their restaurant, Biggie's Barbecue, specialises in American barbecue. They slow cook their brisket for 10 hours. You can come out here for lunch on Saturdays and Sundays or dinner on Friday nights. On Friday nights they also do pizza. They also have a range of specials on their menu and different events like the Payella Day, which is the last Sunday of every month. But keep your eye out on their social media and website for more information. This is a Pitmaster platter and it features a range of beautiful smoked meats or seafood. You might want to share it with a friend, two, maybe even three, because it's absolutely huge. Today we have brisket, pulled pork, lamb, duck, cowboy beans, slaw, cornbread and pickles. It smells divine. We've got a filet mignon, potato gems and mushrooms, and slaw, brisket, hot links, and cornbread. An American barbecue restaurant wouldn't be complete without a rich, decadent chocolate brownie on the menu. And that's what we've got right here. We're really proud of our Pinot Noir. Um, the wines that we have uh, make here, uh, specifically and uh, we're wanting to make that a focus moving forward uh, having a selection of different pinots uh, and blends. The uh, Pinot Noir Rosé goes really well with uh, pork rib and pulled pork. The um, straight Pinot Noir goes really well with our smoked uh, duck and our Shiraz goes, uh, it's the perfect match for our smoked beef brisket. We're a contentious character, a restaurant, winery and cellar door that's all about having fun. They're home to good wine and great debates while being a little bit contentious. Their quirky wine name says it all. They have a range of unique and interesting events like the Pig and Pinot Night, Trivia Nights, Live Music, Cheese Making, Cheese and Chocolate Tasting and heaps more. They even have cabarets. Check out this grazing platter. It's filled with cheese, meat, condiments, fruit. It looks and smells incredible and it's the perfect thing to go with a glass or two of wine. These are the stuffed vine leaves and the leaves are straight from the vineyard. This is a spring risotto with prawns and peas and parmesan. It smells amazing. And this is the roast free range chicken with anchovy sticks and a beautiful tomato and olive sauce. 
Yes, so here at Contentious Character, we have a unique tasting experience where you get to compare our museum wines, which are very much made in the old world style of cellaring wines, with the new world style wines of Contentious Character. So that's a really fun learning experience and it enables you to get a taste of the whole region because we do have seven varieties all grown and made on the property here. So a great place to come and get a feel for what the region is all about. Let's raise a glass and ruffle some feathers. There's some great food and beverage options in the area, so make sure you make some time to come and check them out for yourselves. Thanks for coming on another food adventure with us. We'll see you next time.